My question is, as uh, we have observed, the Kashmiris are still suffering, and we have seen many protests, demonstrations. Uh, but the question is, how long is it going to take? Is there any solution? What are our strategies? Any panelists can help us, please. The Kashmiris uh, worked for, uh, with the United Nations Human Rights Council in Geneva and in New York. And there were reports which we, uh, which our activists back in home uh, in Kashmir, they devised, uh, devised a way of getting the information and uh, ultimately the structure of violence was a book they compiled and it was given to the United Nations Human Rights Council sessions, right? And after two or three years of those reports were, uh, were studied by the United Nations Human Rights Council and they issued in 2018 their first ever report on human rights abuses in Kashmir. Those abuses were about 14 clauses of them were those abuses were perpetu perpetuated by the Indian military in under their control of Kashmir. And four clauses were those which were perpetuated by the Pakistani administration. So what happened then when on to 2018, 16th of July, I remember the, uh, the United Nations Human Rights Council also devised a method to how to proceed further for the commission of inquiry. And if the commission, because you, there is a mechanism the United Nations works. You just can't, can't go there and, and knock their door and say that, hey, come on, you, there is something going on here and they will straight away come. That doesn't happen. So the mechanism is set there. What happened is these were the reports only. The United Nations wanted actually to go and talk to the victims and talk to those governments themselves to find whether these reports are right or wrong. So they appealed both India as well as Pakistan. This is an answer to you also. They appealed both India and Pakistan that you should allow us to get into so that we can verify these reports which have been, these were very credible reports from all over Reuters and everything. India rejected within two, two hours of report was issued by the United Nations Human Rights Council. Within two hours it rejected completely and said that we are not going to allow any official of the United Nations to come and verify these reports. I would have expected that Pakistan, being a friendly country for Kashmiris as it claims, that they would allow this official, officials of United Nations to their country, their part of the Kashmir, and say that, okay, you go ahead with it. A report could have come that India refused it, but Pakistan allowed it, and a commission of inquiry could have started against India. But unfortunately, these two countries work together when it comes to resolving of Kashmir. They don't want to resolve the Kashmir issue. Let me explain to you, as you really say, uh, you said yourself about the war machinery of Ukraine, what is happening here, exactly the same thing is happening. Pakistan right now needs money for their people who are flooded. What they are spending, United States, yesterday, it's yesterday's news that $450 million have been issued, given to Pakistan for a refurbishment of F-16s. I don't know if you know that. So this is a war machinery going on at the cost of the sufferings of the people. And people like this gentleman here, they do not understand it. That is why we are suffering here.